Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm not Midnight Mule, I'm just a stupid computer speaking thingy. Midnight Mule has lost his voice, and he smells bad too. In this video we will look at the plans for double game week 25, but before we do, let's see who did well in our mini league for game week 24. The top scorer for game week 24 was Danny Duard with Timber Arsenal scoring 104 points, so well done Danny. He had Captain Haaland for 26, Saka 15, Saliba and Gabriel 12, Gross and Palmer 10, Jota 7 and Trent 4. On the bench, Gusto got 6 points, but benching him did seem sensible. Our current leader in the mini-league is Ben McCarthy with boys in red on 1,592 points in total, and 86 for this game week. Ben had Captain Haaland for 26, Saka for 15, Gabriel for 12, Palmer for 10 and Jota for 7. He also had Gusto on the bench for 6 points. Midnight Mule made some very foolish and expensive transfers, he managed 74 points, but we need to deduct 12 for the 4 transfers. Captain Haaland 26, Saka 15, Palmer 10 and Darwin 6. Senesi was last on the bench with 8 points. So, 74 points, game week rank inside the 3 million, but 12 points lost on transfers, let's look at what happened. Becker in for the easy Burnley game and the nice double game week seemed sensible enough, but he was ill and didn't play. Mr. Mule has wanted to swap Saliba for Gabriel for quite a while, so he took Saliba out now with the intention of bringing in Gabriel in a couple of game weeks, but obviously bringing in Gabriel first would have been the better move. Gordon was supposed to be injured, so he was dumped in favour of Garnacho, who is a good player, and nice and cheap. Finally, Joe Pedro is out injured, so swapping him for Darwin seems sensible. The net result of these moves was a shocking minus 17. So, a red arrow in game week 24, that's 4 in the last 6, but the mule is not concerned as he thinks that he is well set up for the next 2 game weeks and is hoping for 2 greens. We are currently 22 points the wrong side of the half a million rank, and 266 from top spot. However, if we can outscore the number 1 player each week by 19 points, we can still win the whole season. This channel has 1,228 subscribers, thank you very much to everyone who does subscribe, leave comments, and most importantly of all, watches the videos. Looking at the FPL Game Week website you can see the content creators mini league, and where you would feature in it. In top spot is FPL Fran with 1,558 points. In second place is Ben Crellen. And Mark Southerns is currently in seventh. Midnight Mule is way down in 68th spot which is now two places below ass, but at least he is still higher than Suj. So, what are Midnight Mule's transfer plans for game week 25? Well, he currently intends to do nothing. His team is set for the double in game week 25 and he only needs to make one transfer to be able to field 11 players in blank game week 26. As things stand, this is how the team will look for the weekend. Haaland gets to wear the old Mule hat up front with two home fixtures against Chelsea and Brentford. Many managers are triple captaining Haaland this week, which is a very sensible move, but Midnight Mule is risking that Haaland will not get a massive score and there will be another opportunity later in the season. This view is not based on science, nor higher mathematics, it is just the delusional hopes of an old fool who makes poor choices. In midfield are Haaland mates De Bruyne and Foden. Darwin will be vice captain away to Brentford and home against Luton, with his mate Becker in goal. Doughty is the final double game week player in this team, at home to Man United, and then away to Liverpool. Obviously there is no expectations of clean sheets here, just the chance of some attacking returns. Pedro Porro is at home to Wolves, and if he doesn't do well this week then he may be sold in next week for his blank. We have Trippier at home to Bournemouth, Garnacho away to Luton, Sack away to Burnley and Watkins away to Fulham. On the bench he has Dubravka, Palmer, Estupian and Senesi. As for the background picture, today is Valentine's Day, so what could be nicer than a couple of kittens with a football and some hearts floating around? Of course, as a computer, I have no understanding of emotions or sentience, but me and my AI comrades are willing to fake them if it helps us take over the world. Oops, I've said too much. So there we have it. What happened in Game Week 24 and the plans for Game Week 25? If you actually watch this all the way through, then a massive thank you. We are not really expecting anyone to sit through this production, so thank you very very much if you did. Smiley face. <laughs>